like I said in the last video, um, the important thing is health, well-being, and longevity. And I felt like I did not stress that enough. That if we're going to go past the speed of light or enter some multiverse or some other realm, it's going to take us a while in order to get there. Like space, lower space flights by the billionaires, it kind of showed us how crude we are and how, you know, space travel is, is um, a long way from our capabilities right now to go to Mars. It's like it takes four years, they say, if they can do it at the present technology. So why don't we take care of this planet and our people? I think that would make you know a lot more sense. So health, that's what we want, each one of us. And well-being, now that's it's a complicated one because that's where all like psychology and your desires and, and your reproduction hormones and your uh, desire to excel and, and make money and uh, be rich or whatever you really concentrate on. Your well-being is a mental state and if you you feel needed, you know, you feel welcomed into society, or if you don't, that's part of your well-being. And then longevity. Uh, there's this uh, guru guy, Sad, sad Guru, and uh, he is older than me. <laughs> it's like pretty crazy, man. And he's, he's got all kind of gray hair and stuff. And my, my beard would be pretty gray too, but I don't know. I don't think that he thinks of the long-term existence of humanity and what our goals as a species, you know, to, you know, what else would it be? We have to survive for a long time. You know, I, I put it at like a million year time span even as fast as we're accelerating as much we're learning about technology and how we're having better memory and how we're every, everything is going in order to actually exist in like a real life hologram a ghost or whatever and then go past the speed of light and be like uh, omnipresent and uh, omnipotent no I don't even want to be that way. I just want to be part of the universe somehow uh, through like maybe electric energy because the it's almost like a ether of electrons more than electron going around a planet like our moon goes around the earth kind of a view of it. I think it's more like a fog that's every everywhere so maybe that would be a secret to uh, you know get in an electron world a little further I don't know see it's like how many years will it take us I'm trying to make a theory that we can exist on this planet for however long it takes until we um, develop and fold right in to the um, alternate reality and then be able to come back and forth, you know, so that, because some people would probably want to stay here, there's a certain soulful thing, and it's so rare in the universe to have uh, the human existence, you know, even if our minds are limited and uh, our strength is limited and all that stuff to have a body though to have a human body I you know like we can't find any place else in the universe that has biological life as we know it so it's pretty special so 
we definitely don't want to go extinct. We want to go past the speed of light. We want to be like, like a, a vibration of everything, everywhere at the same time. And we want to connect with that. And I don't think we can do it individually. And we don't want, I love everybody. We want everybody to like be able to get this uh, feeling that we have a meaning because it is possible for us to become spirits and go back and forth in like the million year time. You know, some people say they could do it right now, but that would be kind of hooky spooky. But uh, to have a faster than the speed of light existence, like speed of light, that's like the limit of physical plane. But some things about electricity and the force of everything coming together. I don't know, I can't explain it any better how uh, I feel that health, well-being, and longevity, that means more to me than, than anything. I hope that if you people like believe in um, Christianity and a God and Jesus, that somehow it can still allow you to think the super positive about humanity. That, you know, maybe like I said, it'd take a million years. What if it will take like a thousand years? Yeah, we're, um, we're not going to be here. But our spirits and the spirit of humanity will be here and then it will, it can excel and then we can be interspace, interstellar, so that if there is another planet that's a, almost as beautiful as this, that the seed of life could be planted over there. And that's kind of the reason for humans. Like, animals don't really uh, think quite on our level and have a collective history like written history and then on to videos and this stuff now. So that is our special being, each individual, each one of us, seven billion, is to um, be sustainable and promote health, well-being, and longevity. Less war and more love of elderly people and more give more to other people that can't do it for themselves and um, make our society more friendly in a lot of, lot of ways. And uh, there is a chance that we can do this. And the more that you believe we can, then to me, like my, on an emotional level, I feel that um, there's almost like an echo back from us achieving um, e like an eternal connection that is like we become more like infinite together. And so uh, that's, that's my uh, spiel for this evening. Health, well-being, and longevity, the three